Arizona Sunshine hit VR in 2016 and since that time we've been blessed with a sequel but clearly Vertigo didn't want to leave the original in the past. Today we're talking about Arizona Sunshine Remake. I'll be going over what the game offers to help you decide if this is one for you. First off, before we jump into the review, I want to remind you all to hit that subscribe button. The support means so much. Also, if you enjoy this video, then make sure to hit the like and leave a comment. Now, without further ado, let's crack on with the review. The game does feature a lot of narrative. You're placed in the world of Arizona as a survivor who one day wakes up and finds a radio signal leading him to believe the military are on their way. You travel through various areas within the zombie infested world trying to escape. The story isn't bad, it will keep you entertained for its 3 hour duration, but I'd say the story is something you can take or leave. Gameplay wise, it's as you can imagine an over the top zombie shooter with a subtle narrative. You travel through various areas finding different weapons and taking out hordes of zombies on the way. You can use melee weapons which are extremely satisfying, gunplay is very smooth and never a chore, headshots are punchy and well meaty would be the better word for it. As well as pistols you have various other weapons from rifles, assault rifles, shotguns and each will have their plus and minus. Each chapter will have you finding various items to progress, these can be keys, winches and even bombs. They're never difficult to find and if anything they add a nice little bit of pacing to the game. If you're more into Horde style game modes then you'll be happy to know the original Horde mode is here and it's better than ever, offering challenging waves in various locations. As well as the main campaign you also have the two DLCs included which are The Damned and Dead Man. Both of these offer a different story and more environments to explore. They're by no means huge DLCs but they should keep you busy for an extra two hours or so. The greatest thing about Arizona Sunshine is that it can be played in co-op and this really elevates the experience making for funny moments on a lower difficulty or even intense times on the harder ones. Also with Horde mode you can play this with up to four players which really adds to the difficulty. Now for the graphics, as this is a remake you'll expect to see better textures, brighter visuals and I can really say they are great. The first time you step out of the cave at the start and see the light you really notice how far this game has come from the original. I played this game on the PSVR 2 and when you get to the mines you really notice why the PSVR 2 is perfect for this type of game. Wandering the dark caves are stunning and I couldn't notice any Mura. I'd definitely say that some of the zombie models could look better but these didn't ruin the experience in any way. I'm also happy to say the game does have haptic support and adaptive triggers and these will always be my favourite thing with PSVR 2 shooters. I also didn't experience any frame drops or crashes. Right, let's go over the settings. As usual, there is smooth and snap turning, full locomotion and teleport movement, plus a bunch of other comfort settings to aid all VR players. You can also play the game seated and I had no issues in doing so. Now for what I didn't like, there isn't actually that much. I'd say the only thing I think that needs to be fixed is the modelling of the zombies. Some look absolutely fantastic, then others have jagged edges and look a bit boxy. Again, this doesn't ruin the game in any way, but it's definitely noticeable. For any of the trophy hunters out there, this game does have a platinum. Overall, the Arizona Sunshine remake is absolutely fantastic and a must-have for any VR player. Not only does this game make you realise how far VR has come since 2016, but also how the original game's core mechanics still stand the test of time. Even though these have been upgraded to be similar to Arizona Sunshine 2, for me, I've always preferred Arizona Sunshine 1 and this was an absolute blast from start to finish. So, should you get this game? Yes, 100% yes. It looks great, it plays great and it's just so much fun. However, if you're not a fan of zombie shooters, then maybe steer clear of this one. This concludes my review for Arizona Sunshine Remake. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to stick around for more VR content. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.